My name's Greg Tardif. This is an iPhone 12 Pro, and I get compliments from time to time about having banger shave of the day photos, and I appreciate every single one of them, but it's usually attached to, wow, Greg, you take wonderful shave of the day photos. I wish I had a fancy camera like you. Here's the thing. You don't need a fancy camera to take banger shave of the day photos. I actually put together a few tips here that we can kind of go over it with. Tip number one, the setup. The setup is key. If you're not setting up your shave to on like a table or something so it actually looks nice, you're not gonna have a nice photo. To that, you don't need to include everything that you use in your shave in your photo. If you want like a nice photo, it can be too busy if you have too much stuff in there, okay? So I usually leave out like my aftershave splash, especially if it's matchy matchy or if it's something that I use all the time, like my recovery splash from Zingari Man. Sometimes I just put in the razor and the brush that's it or the razor and the soap and that's it you know you can do that i give you permission tip number two you got your phone flip it over huh and you put it on the table you got yourself a banger photo right there it's going to get closer and at eye level to your subject which is key and it, you can even do a looking up and it just makes it look bigger okay so that's tip number two flip your phone over you can also turn it to the side that's a possibility too tip number two three try different places you know it doesn't just have to happen in the bathroom some things have to happen in the bathroom your shave of the day photo does not have to happen in the bathroom i like my kitchen table because i get this natural light coming through there's this little shelf that i have that's by my front door i like it there i can get some more natural light coming through I like my basement bar for photos and videos just because I have total control of everything. There's just, you know, too many places that you can try to get a shave of the day photo. You could even try it in your refrigerator. You know, who cares? If it works, it works. Tip number four, light, okay? It doesn't just have to be one source of light. Also, that something that goes with light is shadow. So make sure you try and get some shadows in there and add some mood and ambience to it. For me, I have some bonus lights that I like to use one being this Aperture MC. Um, it's a little pricey, it's about $89, $90. Uh, controls the output, how dim, how bright, how warm, how cool the light is. So you can add just a splash of texture to your razors and brushes and things like that. This is a recent acquisition that I've just picked up. It's called a, it's like a sunset light and you can control the color a lot of the same things that can, it's just not as high quality, but it's like $22, $24. And comes with a little tiny, uh, a little tiny bendy tripod here, so you can kind of position it in different places. Pretty cool. Tip number five, okay? Try different things, you try different things. I try different things at grocery stores, at restaurants, bars, liquor stores. Might as well try different things with my phone and my camera and stuff like that. So. Just get out there and try it. Take tons of pictures, practice, 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 practice. Practice makes you better. If you have any questions about any of this at all, I'm always open to hearing from you. If you want some feedback or you want me to check one of your photos out, uh, you can tag me on Instagram, G-T-A-R-D-I-F-8-6 on Instagram or on, tw on Twitter. My messages there are also open, but let me know. Let me know if this brings value to you or if you have any other questions in the comments too. I appreciate you watching. I will talk to you later. I was getting out of breath there. I need to go to the gym. Goodbye.